It's a series many call science fiction's answer to The Lord of the Rings. But at 215,000 words, Frank Herbert's Dune wasn't everyone's cup of, um, spice. In the late 1950s, Herbert started work on a magazine article regarding the ecological menace of the Oregon sand dunes. He over-researched the story and the article was not back, but the source material fueled ideas for a novel. Six years later, following more studies on deserts and religious archetypes, Dune hit the newspaper stands as Dune World and The Prophet of Dune, an eight-part serial in analog. The novel version would surely follow. No. 23 rejections later, a publisher of auto repair manuals, the Chilton Book Company, finally picked it up. The book was not an immediate success, and the company fired the editor who published it. Readers loved it critics hated it. Maybe for the same reasons, it broke the mould for sci-fi discussing ecological, political and religious concepts. Eventually, success arrived when the novel won the Nebula and shared the Hugo Award with And Call Me Conrad by Roger Zelazny. 